Yeah, it's Russ. Woo! Yeah! So, how are you? Woo! Good, good. I've noticed something. I come in the room, doesn't matter if I get here, beginning of the show, middle of the show, right now, I can say, how's it going? How you feeling? What's it? Good. We talk about how was your day? We talk about um, just about anything, except I keep thinking we're in this room full of these creative geniuses. There's so many mental, wonderful, creative people, and we never talk about what are you working on? What are you working on? What are you working on? What, are you, what am I working on? I know the stuff I'm working on. I'm pretty excited about it. I told you about some of it earlier. We've got an anniversary show coming up. That's a big deal. Um, we're, we're producing new things with the Circus Freaks, and I don't want to tell you too much about them because I'm, I'm really frustrated with them right now because I'm trying to write new performance material for me that I might perform here, and right now it's a mess. But someday, maybe that'll work. We've got all the thank you. We've got all this stuff going on. I, I, I'm excited about it, but I don't want to... Yeah, sorry. But here's the thing. No fourth wall. Just, <laughs> how are you? I'm good. It's nice to see you. Okay, somebody cares. Just the one. But, oh, I know. It's, it's terrible. We should just stop. For you. No. Working on all this stuff. And I got one that I'm freaking worried about. I do. I have one that I'm actually worried about. I, and I tried to put this aside and talk about fun stuff that we're doing. And I'm, I'm worried about something. Genuinely. This Wednesday, and, and I've talked about this a little bit before, uh, the Circus Freaks got involved in doing some outreach work with kids that are at risk. Uh, it's kind of a, a, an innovative program where we go into not just schools, but after school programs, homes. Uh, we're going into you know, places, you know, family crisis centers. It's sometimes a little intense. And we're working with these kids. And at first it was gonna be this big education thing. And it became very obvious when, when it became to be about science that Johnny's the only one who can do math. And so they also saw that what we were good at was getting people to laugh, to open up, have a moment. And that became our job description within this organization. You go into that room, we drop you in there, one hour with some kids who have no idea what to expect, and just have a creative moment. I got a call from the director of this program, and he said, I'm throwing you to a shark tank. I said, okay. I said, this Wednesday, we're starting back up again for the year. And our first place is the largest one of these we've ever done. It's going to be a room with like 60 or 70 kids in it. And they're angry. That's scary. Yeah. It is scary. And I'm freaked out about it. Not because I, you know, I don't want to screw up. I was given, like, if you screw up, just don't screw anyone up. That's pretty fair. <laughs> it's like a get out of jail free card. But I don't want to screw up because I know what these kids are like because they're mad. I was them. And I stopped being mad and all the good stuff started happening. It's all of this, everything in my life started happening when I got rid of some of that, took off some of the social armor and started just being in the room. And if something dumb happened, like we giggled too much or, or we... We, we got a little off the rails. We realized that was part of the process. And we'll just kind of nudge it back on the rails and have a show. Do a thing. And it was good for me and it helped me grow. And I realized that this Wednesday, I walk in a room and either I get to be what every one of these kids is expecting. Yay, I'm entertainment and they hate me. Or I go in there and maybe I can make a dent. I know what it feels like to make a dent. I've made a dent before. I've talked about it here. You see one kid go, maybe the world doesn't have to suck. And the idea that their whole worldview rebooted on such a simple thing, maybe it doesn't have to suck. Maybe there's another way to look at it. And I came to the simple conclusion that if I can go in there and find that kid, Give him one good moment, a laugh, a chuckle, something to think about, anything other than, hey, guess what, guys? I'll say it. I'm the angry white man. Look at me. Anything other. We don't want to talk about that, but the expectation is there because that's what I look like. But if I can give them anything else, even for a moment, they might get past all the stuff that had me really screwed up for a lot of years, 
and they don't have to go through that, and they can be where I'm heading now. More importantly, that means they get to be like you guys. You're creative, you're nuts, you heckle. But genuinely, don't ever apologize. But genuinely, you're here, you're present. You're open to this experience and all the experiences you have. And maybe this place, we're a little more open. But I sure want to help the world have more kids like that than the ones that I've seen and the ones that I've been. So I'm worried. I'm going to walk in that room as open and as naked as I can, but I will have one thing with me other than a pair of pants. <laughs> I'm going to take all of you guys with me, if that's all right. Yeah. And we're going to make a dent. Let's start here at the open stage, shall we?